Mom, you're gonna uh, put your baby on the table and everything without me, okay? Okay. Me and David are gonna step back here. Come here. Can, can I just put my? No, sure. Right put it, put wherever, and I'll move it around. Okay. Looky, here's Brownie. Looky here, here's Brownie. It's a good girl. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you alone. Is she too heavy for you to pick up? No, I okay, can pick great. her up. Yeah, put her on the table. Don't let go. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, gotcha. Good girl. Mommy's gotcha. You keep an eye because every 15 minutes it's gonna stop. Good girl. Big hug there. Big hug. Yeah. Good girl, you're yeah. so pretty. You could get hair tight. Not gonna get. And you can come take the camera anymore. after in a little bit. You can come, David can come and kind of you know. I do know that she's got a big. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Her. We'll get all that out. Uh, let's see. So you're gonna the, like Dee Dee. <laughs> you're gonna like Dee Dee. Well, I, well, we hope so, and maybe not today, but maybe we'll grow into it. Well, mm -hmm. I know you're not. I told you I wanted to get a train, just mainly so she's not afraid of it. Mm -hmm. We can't leave town. We left town, and the vet tech stayed at our house, and my other two, which we had had from puppies. Mm -hmm. No problem. She would not come out of the closet. She peed my closet. Oh. She would not come out. Okay, hold, hold her head up for me. Okay. I'll maneuver some of this stuff here. And then I'm going to... Hi. Hi, what's this? What's that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what all this stuff is. Let me She's a good this. girl. Hi. She's a good yeah. girl. Mom has got ya. So um, just, I'm going to talk out loud so the camera understands what we're doing. So we're going to do a short haircut because we have high anxiety, very timid animal. And for low maintenance, we're going to tighten everything up. And um, as far as I can have heard, tell me if I'm wrong. Have you, tell me, were you, did you go to a groomer? What happened with the groomers? No, we've never no, taken never it to a groomer. Okay. Um, I do know they said at the vet because she was heartworm positive. Uh -huh. And I didn't, I would not take her back to the Humane Society. I took her to my vet because I didn't want her at the Humane Society for a week. They said she was quite aggressive. Okay, crate aggressive. Yes. If she didn't try to buy it, she just would not come out of the crate. Right, Mom, are you ready to get hairy here with sure. your, this clothing? is fine. Yeah, that's why I wore okay. this. Okay. Uh, You're good, girl. You're doing so good. So what I'm going to have you do is we're not going to talk at all. Okay. Okay. Deep breath. Okay. And then I'm just going to just shoot out what I need you to do. Okay. And your energy, real calm, is going to help her. She's just listening to your heart. She's listening to your heart. And the speed of you, the way you talk, your pitches, she's listening to all that. So high pitches is, is hyperness and low neutral is going to be like, hmm, okay. Hmm. Kind of cool, right? Right? Okay. So I'm not going to go down to absolute summer just yet. I'm going to... You're not going to put her on a... I'm going to wait. Okay, I'm going to just, just bear with does. me here. Okay. And, yep, so just and then head over there. You guys, and then, yep, yep. Easy. Smell. It's okay, I'm gonna, it's okay. Smell first, you wanna smell? It's okay. So we're gonna do a haircut, okay? Okay, and I need to put, what am I doing, man? I'm half in and half out this morning. I think somebody had probably, might have done a haircut, so it'll be interesting okay. to see how she reacts. Okay, let me see here. Okay. I know it, right? You're okay. You're okay. Mommy's gotcha. So I'm gonna start off, and I don't want to take too She's much time down. trying to play You're around. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. good. I don't want to play around too much with the haircut, you know, style. I just want to get it off for the sake of time. Okay. And time being, how much time I have to work with her before she's like, I am done with you. Okay. okay. Mm, they said the word no. The word no. Is great. No. 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 It's okay. I'll, I'll, move, I'll maneuver some other stuff as we go. Smell. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I'm just brushing you. Oh, yeah, she's matted. So, hang on here. Yeah, she's a kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's very matted from the skin out. So, all this has to go. Never mind. So, I was going to try to take it easy, but we have to go low. So, you're brushing here great, mm -hmm. but the, this right here is going to show you. I can't even get the, all that. It's stuck because it's matted down in here. Okay. Doing so we'll good, start here. Bailey. So we're gonna now turn this. In. We already talked about summer cuts, so we we're gonna do that anyway. I just didn't want to go that low unless I really needed to, because there's some other lows I can go right. At. Okay. So she's not gonna be what skin. Is she? She's gonna have a. She's gonna have the military summer cut I told you about over okay. there. Okay. So it's gonna be short. We have to go under all the knots. You're doing good. Good girl. Mommy's got you.
Mommy's got you. You're going to be so nice and pretty. You're going to get on the cover of Aussie Magazine. So all this is matted here. You have to, you, you guys know already, you have to brush with a brush and a comb. See all this? So this is not fun. You want, yeah, that's fine. You can. Just watch her. She doesn't like certain types of things. And I'm glad you're not wearing slots. She does not like men in slots. Okay, good tight hold. Oh, mommy's got that. So this is all really matted in here. You're doing good. Yeah. So look at all this. Can you see it coming off mm -hmm. like that? This is very matted. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay. It'll grow back. It's going to grow back. Mommy's got you. Yeah. So I kind of burrowed myself a hole, and I may go seven reverse that way so I can get under all the rest. But mom called me, and we have a, a situation where. She wanted someone specific that can handle this kind of pet where she's nervous, anxiety, you know, high strong. She goes to the veterinarian and she definitely poops every time she shows up there. So we, we did no food yesterday after 8 p.m., no food today. And we're going to try to avoid any of that discomfort of when an animal is like pooping everywhere. The animal doesn't like it either. It's very stressful. So this is all matted underneath. It doesn't look matted here, right? It looks matted here. So. That's why the comb, running a comb through the hair, I tell my clients, okay. a brush and a comb have to work together. Okay. The comb doesn't lie to you. So that's okay. essential. Because you would brush all day and then check with your comb, and if it's snagging, you it's know there's be a all lot not, You're not going to know who you are. It's okay. You're doing great. You're such a Keep good Keep the tone girl. neutral. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. It's okay. No, look at mama. Just look at mama. You're doing good. Uh -huh. Look at mama, baby. Look at mama, it's okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Oh, you're doing so good. Oh, there's poop there. She's got my hand in some poop. I'm oh, sorry. That's okay. Good girl. It was probably there when she pooped and it was just stuck in her hair. You're doing good. So I'm gonna wash my hands real fast. Literally in my poop. Oh, honey. It's okay. You're not going to know who you are. Sugar and Gracie are not going to know who you are. No, they're not going to know who you are. No, you're doing good. Daddy will be back in a minute. I know. Love you. Yes, you're doing so much better. Yes, you're doing so much better. I'm sorry, we, we followed instructions. Oh no, I think it was stuck on her hair. Okay. It was stuck on her hair there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're doing such a good job. You're doing such a good job. So she was really worried about me messing with, like I could see the approach, she was not very happy and so I didn't put the groom loop on her yet because it is a parent assist appointment but I am keeping an eye if she tries to start whipping back or anything like that just out of fear then we we'll definitely put the groom loop on her. So I just kind of, you know, just avoided that for a minute. Thank you, Sam. So, so thank you so much, dear. So thank you. Yes, so thank you. Thank you. And again, like uh, it's not about being pretty. It's just about getting it off pretty, pretty fast. I'm just trying to go not too, too fast. I know you're probably not gonna like it this short, but that's okay. It will go back. It's okay. Yeah, you're not gonna have all that on your butt. Uh -uh, no, no. Look at mama. No, look at mama. You're doing so. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Baby, it's okay. Mama. So, um, so they're whipping back on all that. That's kind of she's worried. Mm -hmm. um, so what I need to do is I'm going to use a groom loop now, and then only because we need to take the harness off for the for right. to continue. So this is going to go just around her head here, just around her head. I know. I did it. Oh, she doesn't like um, new sounds and uh, abrupt sounds, and that's all fine. Be ready for her to just try to pounce out of here, okay? Gotcha. You're doing wonderful. You're doing wonderful. 
we're not going to know you. Okay, good night, cute hug. Sorry, hug her. Hi, you're okay, sir. You are good. I'm See, watch all your you. gentle movements here. I'm Mama's not trying to move too too fast, but Mama's got gotcha. you. Now she still has a collar on. Can you maneuver that off? Yep, yep, yep. Look at Mama. Look at Mama. Look at Mama. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Look at Mama. Look at Mama. Has she ever, does she bite the veterinarian or anybody? She snapped. No, she's never bitten a vet. She snapped at my husband the other day, and I think he's, he just scared her. I mean, it was... Uh, in what situation? I'm... She had... He had had his pants on. Uh-uh. Look at me. Yeah, no, she will bite, so... Yeah, I think she... Uh-uh-uh. Or no. Don't no. Worry. No. 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 Uh-uh. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Look at Mama. It's okay. So it's matted. That's why it's kind of taking it. I should be able to go straight through, but it's just yeah. a little difficult, so i got to come back. No. Bailey. Look at Mama. It's okay. Bailey. It's okay. Mama's right here. It's okay. Look at Mama. It's okay. Just to have a different angle, I'm going to go and kind of reverse here. It's okay. When the hair is real thick and tight and matted a little bit, it's all it's clumpy. Okay. So I'm just going to take this down like it's this, okay. just for the sake of just getting done. It's okay. And we're going to, next time you will have to go this short. I promise. I promise. It's okay. Look at Mama. Look at Mama. Look at Mama. It's okay. Mama's got you. Mama's got you. Mama's got you. Mama's got you. I know, you're like, where's all my hair going? I, know. I don't think she wasn't worrying about that. I really okay. don't. She's worrying about what's Dee Dee doing with the noise and the sound. It's okay. Getting the mats off is, a, she, her skin can actually breathe. So I think she's all right with the haircut. That's yeah. my opinion. You're going to be nice and cool this summer. Yeah, you're going to be cool this summer. So what's that side doing? <laughs> it's okay. Are you ready? Are you be it's ready, okay. Mom. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, go ahead and lift that arm for me. <laughs> oh, you're go so ahead. good. No, she's like, don't touch me there. Don't touch me there. I you're know what you're good. doing. You're good. It's okay, though. You're a good girl. It is helping at this time. It's a good, good girl. girl. Yeah, I know you don't want me to be up there. It's a good girl. Be ready for a snapping. No, it's okay. It's okay, baby. She's trying to keep it. Okay, off. she's fine. She's okay. fine. It's okay. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Oh, yep. Don't let go. And just the word no. 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 So let me do this. No. Okay, so now. This is too small. It's okay. It's okay. Mama's here. No, no, ma'am. No, no. So this is going to go on like this, okay? And you're going to help me get it on. Easy and talk nicely. Talk it's nicely. Okay. It's, okay. It's, it's okay. okay. it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. No you're one's hurt. Fine. No one's going to get hurt. You're Mommy's fine. not going to get hurt today. Mommy's going to stay with you. It's okay. okay. Mommy's not going to get hurt today, though. No, it's okay. Mommy's with you. You can get mad, but it's Mommy's okay. not getting hurt today. It's okay. Okay? It's okay. I know. You're scared. See how fast it is? It's yeah. fast, huh? Yeah, I know. You're scared. Can't, we are, can hardly have that reaction. <gasps> okay. Bailey. You no. Have... No. So, Mom, I need you. No, no talking. Okay. Okay. I'm going to say it one more time. No talking. It's not personal. No. Okay. No talking, and I want you to be firm, and I want you to be not, <gasps> I don't need that. I okay. don't need that. Okay. Yeah, or I'll need you to step away. So, no, 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 no. So, we're not asking you to stop. We're telling you to stop. So, no. And then that way, when you are ready for it, it's not going to scare you. Okay. Okay. And so, 
maneuver your body to her side so you're not in her grip however you need to so that you're not in her face. Give me your hand here. Give me your hand real close there. And you can, that's fine. Or you can be almost like, there you go, to where your face is not in her face, okay? Muzzle is helping us get some um, movement here, but she can still do anything she wants to. She can freak out real fast and we are, and we are not in control then. Because you can see how quick it can happen and how scary it is. No, no, don't let go. Just don't let go. Don't let go. No, 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 no. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You are fine. You're fine. You're fine. So we're going to go this way, man. You're all fine. Yeah, you're fine. I know you're freaking out. I know you're freaking out. You're okay. Yeah. It's okay, Mom. What are you looking for? I don't know. You're good. Food, so. You're good. It's okay. Don't worry about the poop. So matted uh, grooming a dog like this is that we want to avoid it at all costs because that should be done already. Like the blade, I should have had the blade all the way through, but because of the matting, I've had to slow it. It slows everything down. Okay. And it's probably painful on there. No, no, don't you go anywhere. Okay, you can stand up if you want to, but we're not going anywhere. Okay. We'll kiss after, mom. We'll kiss after. After she's really good the whole time. You'll never have to do it like this again. No, no. No, no. Focus on David. David needs to wave his hand over there. Look at David. What's he doing over there? Be ready, Mom. Sometimes there's a calm before a snap, so just be ready for it, and then it won't be surprising. So Mom's doing really good. Let's see here. Yeah, there's a little bit of poop. So just imagine if um <laughs> if she ate. <laughs> just stay there. <laughs> We're all right. You guys are all right. You can take a breather, Mom. Don't let go, but just take a breather. Let me move this as I maneuver her around a little bit here. It's not that bad. Don't worry. Just watch her there. Okay, so I actually want to get her turned back around so that I can bring her back into the loop, hopefully. Okay, turn around. I know you want to watch everything I'm doing. I know you're worried, okay? Mama's right there. There we go. Mama's right there. You okay, Mom? Mm hmm You're hairy. Don't worry. Oh, I'm fine. You're going to get really hairy. That's okay. And we'll help you out with that when we're all That's done. Okay. I'll take the sweatshirt off. Do you need to take the sweatshirt off now? No, I'll wait till you're done. Are you done? No, we're not done. Well, when you're done. <laughs> All right. Okay. Stand up. It's okay. I know. Steady. You're steady. steady. There. Just hang out with her for a second here. Yeah. I got to see what we got going on back here. These are going to be so pretty. She's going to like this or not, but I'm going to get her to stand up this way. Nice and easy here. You're good, Mom. Thank you. That's perfect. That's good there. Okay. 
Your butt is smelly now, girl. Mm -hmm. You are smelly. Okay, here we go. This is all good. Right here. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. You're doing great. You're doing so good. So it is pretty funky back here. <laughs> I'm just talking about it because you two can't tell what it smells like. <laughs> well, we knew well, it, was it getting, is funky. We knew it was getting caught in her hair. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. The TT won't get in it. It's all going to be good. So where did you rescue her now? Tell me a little bit about that real fast. From the Humane Society in Keller. We have, our Cavalier is 12 and a half and she has had diabetes for two years. And so we have a lab that is gonna be eight in August and we kinda, we didn't think our, honestly we didn't think our Cavalier would make it this long. And so we were looking for a dog to Kind of make friends with the lab and you know they could play together and everything and of course she's not playful no she, she is she has I have realized she likes to chase the ball so we go out and we chase the ball because we need to lose a little weight but she was starving when I rescued her they brought her in with six puppies and she weighed 18 pounds and she was starving to death she was starving to death yeah she was starving to death and so I don't, you know, we limit what she eats, but she's eating, you know, and she's we in need a better place. Now. She needs to eat. She needs to lose a little weight, so she needs more exercise. Okay. I didn't push the closet because I knew she needed. Explain to the closet. The closet is her crate. Oh, she chose this. She chose the closet as her crate, and so she goes into the master closet, and she gets under my clothes, and I guess because that smells like me because I am her person, and um, I just let her be so she could feel comfortable versus trying to bug her and make her um, stay out in the living room with the other two dogs. We just so 90% of the time she wants to be in there. Let's yes, say, and, but, and they had already put her on one dose of Prozac and they have added an additional dose, and we have seen a huge difference in her wanting to be out. More social. Yes. Yes. It's okay, honey. Okay. She's very smart. The uh, first night we got her, I put her in, I didn't want to put her with my other two dogs. I didn't think that was fair to them. So we put her in a, a, a bathroom that was off the kitchen and she did fine. The second night she Debbie, was you, smart enough are. to maneuver the crate at uh, the gate. Smart enough to move the gate on and her own out. the first night and she got out. And got out. And I woke up Where'd and she, she go? She went and sat on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> and so we've now moved her bed to the master. But when bed. you she sat on the couch, where were the other dogs? They were they sleep in the utility room. So they weren't That's around. Their crate. No. Okay. Yeah, that's their crate, is the utility room. We don't let our dogs roam at You night. keep doing what you're doing, Mom. I will work around. Uh, and, if it's um, working for her, it's working for me. You're doing great. She's very, very smart, but she has a long memory. I took her walking. I've been trying to walk her, and there was a tree full of birds and evidently some birds must have scared her in the crate and she is very anxious during thunderstorms or lightning or she hears she gets very upset. Okay. Awesome.
awesome. Awesome little girl. Mm. Mm. Awesome little girl. Mm. You're not going to know what to do. Mm. Those folks have to wait. Yeah. Those folks have to leave a message. So that ceramic tin was not even hot at all. It's pretty amazing. Feel this. Is that, I mean, it's warm, but it's not. I was doing it the whole time, so people, you don't know, but ceramics are pretty awesome. You're doing good, baby. Okay, I've got to get in this ear, so be ready for that. I don't know what made her snap most, you know. I think just a fray. I just, uh, I'm not sure what snapped her, made her snap most, but she, after the muzzle, she, she stopped, so. But she's smart enough to probably realize she did really good at the vet this last time, which has not been the norm. I gotta get this mat out, so don't get mad at me here. Yeah, I knew there was a knot there. Okay, I know the noise just increased. Okay. I know it. Thank goodness I gave her the anxiety feeling along with the process. Do you think so? Do you think that helped? Yeah, okay. I think that. I just thought it's for giver like when thunderstorms. But I thought, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna come in and try to do some feet action with the pads now. So you can be up there. She hasn't whipped out too much yet or anything. No, you're good. Um, okay, okay. You want me to be on the side? Does that make you feel better if I'm over here? Okay. Yeah, do that. Let me get you more of a little towel towel. Now, I hope you're getting my good side. <laughs> I'm not sure it is. I didn't wear any makeup this morning. Because I, I can see you're getting a little hot. It's okay. That way you can just wipe your face a little bit in case you're uncomfortable. Okay, ready? I'm the age that I'm having no, hot you're flashes. Fine. I don't even know that. We don't even know that. I just, I'm just, uh, just helping you. That's okay. Thank you. You're good. Here, finish that because um, once you use, once you get it hairy, it's out, out of there. So here you go, and then I'll just take that from you. Okay. Thanks. Okay. All right. Great. You're doing great. All right. Huh? Real nice tight hold. Be ready for some snapping. Here we go. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, no. It's okay. It's okay. You're good. Come right here. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Keep going. You're good. Good girl. Mama's here. Mama's here. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Sometimes I don't mind the talking. Sometimes it doesn't do us any good. So good girl. that good this girl. is helping. The cheerleading right now is helping. Earlier it wasn't. So I usually tell them right away when I'm like, you got to stop. You know, just okay. not, you, not you. I'm talking you, you too. Okay. But that, if you guys are working on animals and it, you need them to stop, you got to just to say it. You're doing great. Good girl. Good girl. Sometimes dogs need the cheerleading. Sometimes dogs are like, no, no, I don't need to hear anything. You're and good. you can kind of tell by their behavior. You're good. You're all, Mama's right here, and I'm not going to let anything happen to you. Vein is right there. Uh, I can see the vein, so there's not a lot to take off on those. We can keep our toenails pretty trim. Okay. No, 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 Where's David? No. I know. I got it though. You can jump no, off no. the table if you want, but it's not going to work for you. It's not going to work really well for you if you no. jump off the table. No. no. Look, Look at Mama. Mama. Look at Mama. It's okay. Look at Mama. It's okay. It's okay. Look you don't like Mama. that sound? Okay, I'll stop doing that sound. No. Look at Mama. Look at Mama. Yeah, look at Mama. You're sure you're fine. Mama. You're it's fine. You want to just get another grip? That's fine. It's okay. I got you. That's fine. 
Good Bailey. Good Bailey. Good, good, good Bailey. No. No. Look at me. Look at mommy. No. Look, look at, at mommy. Me. Bailey. Look, look at, at mommy. Me. Look it's at okay. mommy. Yeah, look at look mommy. At me. No, ma'am. Look at mommy there. You can see she when doing. Home, but no. What's she doing? This I don't is know. Good. I don't know what to tell you. It's good. I You're don't know what she's doing. No, there. I didn't no. do it. I didn't no. do it. No, I didn't. That wasn't no, me. No, it wasn't. No, ma'am. I don't even know why you have to have nails. Why do you have to have nails anyway? No, ma'am. You're doing good. I didn't good. do that to you. No, I didn't. I didn't do it. No, I didn't. You're doing really good. Yeah. Look at me, huh? Are you watching no, me? She's like, where are you going? Where, which way? Yeah. I'm now not. where? Okay, here we go. Okay. Let me see this one here. Good girl. Let me see these. Good girl. I know. Look at those nails. Good girl. Good girl. That's a good girl. Good girl. Let me see, you please. Can suck and be mad please let me you. see it's it. Okay. Please let me see. Don't get mad. You're Don't doing get good. mad. Don't get mad I now. Know. Let me see it. Mama might should give you two. Steady. It's okay. Steady as you are. It's okay. You're doing good. Let me see. Okay. Oh. Well, we're more than halfway done, Mom. Yay. You're doing great. I hope you don't mind. I'm not going to clean stuff up and make it more, you know, I'm not going to, this is fine. Um, I can go over the coat a couple more times, but I'm just going to, that's fine with me if it's fine with you. Yeah, just so she doesn't look like I took the scissors to her. <laughs> we have to do a little tiny bit of detail after the bath, but since I feel like we're not blow drying her due to her anxiety, then... I'm gonna get most of what I can now. Okay, there you go, there you go. I know, what am I doing Look back here? Look at me. So there'll be some stuff that we'll see after the back. Hopefully minor stuff. We probably need to keep the muzzle on her every day. Okay, we will. It's okay. I can tell you're really upset, it's okay. I don't know. Can you tell she's upset? Yeah, unless in her pant. I never hear her pant. Yeah. That's because we've constricted her breathing just a little with the muzzle. It's okay. And just a little stressful. I don't know about upset, though. But no, no one's hurt. No one got hurt. So You've done great. You've she's done not great bleeding job. in any way, shape, or form. She wants to be done. Oh, yeah. So we'll come back and check stuff, but minimal handi handling gives her less stress. I'm just going to come back to that in a minute. I do see some areas I'm going to take some stuff down a little bit more. So I'm going to come in with my 10. Okay. You ready here? You're good, Mom. Stay there. Gotcha. Let me get under your armpit here. Yeah. Gotcha. You're doing good, baby. Don't worry, it won't hurt your mom. Okay. You're doing good, Bailey. You're doing good. I know. You're probably like doing one. Just wait. You get to go home and have. Lunch. Lunch. Breakfast. Yeah. Here we go. Coming in, ready. Let me see the armpit for me, will ya? There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Don't get mad. No. No. Don't get mad. No. Where no. Go? It's okay. Yeah, we're good here. I think it's the noise. Sure. She doesn't. I think it is too. So I'm going to give you a, a lot of homework. Okay. So we don't have to do this again. Come on. Well, I hope we don't have to do it again. But you may find that we, you, you may do, you may do one or the other. You may say, Dee, we're just going to keep it that way, and I don't want to have to brush it home. Or oh you no, may, I don't mind brushing it. Or you may go, you know what? We got it to where we want it, and we don't have to do short again. If she's letting you brush correctly, then you may run into where it's like, oh, this is, we don't have to do a shave. I don't have to do it today, do I? Do what today? Brush her today. No, but you will set a, you got a routine with everyone, right? So you'll set a routine. So I'm going to give you a physical routine that you will need to start okay. doing. 
consistency changes how an animal is behaving, and right. some of that consistency is just a, a walk. A nice brisk walk, will, you know, there'll be a hustle home on. We'll go over that after. So I can think about everything you told me. Only Mama's needed one of your pills today. <laughs> yeah, you're doing good. Now, she doesn't like noises that she doesn't understand. That scares her too. She's just afraid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No socialization. This is just a classic case of no socialization mm -hmm. at all. Period. Mm -hmm. But that account. fear won't stop her from biting anybody. So that's. That's the key to remember. Right. That's no excuse, right? Right. Because it could potentially mean you won't have her anymore. And she could be put down. So we will have we try to nip that in the bud. Okay. Stay there. Where's she going? Yay, you're you you can't good. take that off. You'll have to fix your face later though. Huh. Yeah, I mean they're our children. We mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. I run, I mean we run a pretty we're very scheduled on uh, it sounds like it, which is great. Incorporating some of the stuff I'm going to tell you to do is going to be really easy. Good girl. She likes to get a bath. She never gives me a first time about getting a bath. It has been hard to um, brush her really, really good after her bath because she's had so much hair. Yeah, exactly. And I concentrated okay. a lot on the back end just because there was so much back there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me get in your bubble. Ooh, there there you go. Nice and clean. Oh, you've got smell so good. Yeah, this is our pet soap. Smells good. Oh, yeah. Smell so good. Your little I love that shampoo. So good. Your butt smelly, so I got to really get in there, okay? What are you doing back there? It's okay, honey. You're feeling great. I know you don't like this thing. I know. When we get home, you can go to the closet and salt all day long. Oh, we don't let that happen. It's not happening today. Okay, not happening today. You're going to hang out with everybody today. I'm going to show mom how to do it, too. Oh, what, what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing today? What's the I've got to work. So. What do you guys have to work? What do you have to? Well, well I, I work out of my house. Oh, so. you do? Okay. Can, yeah. she, can she lay down beside you while you work? She won't go upstairs from my office. She just to She's not, it's not, a, it's not, uh, we're not going to ask her. You have to take her. Well, the hard thing is, once I get going on my work, mm -hmm. I won't. it's hard for me to concentrate on her, so if she gets up and pees, I'm in trouble. So. Will she get up and pee? Um, if she can't get to the door to let me know that she needs to go, it's a new place for her. So I'll have to just it's kind of adjust today to see. If you can have her beside you at all times for a good two weeks, it will really help. Yeah. If that means, that, no offense, I don't know anything about you, but if I had a dog that was disabled and she has a mental disability, this is how I'm going to look at it. And I had a baby girl and I worked from home, that baby girl will probably be right next to me. Okay? Right. And then, and I think humans need to take breaks from work. So when you need to take a break, you walk her outside. She, you get coffee, she gets to the tea. And that's every break. She, so that way you're avoiding what if she didn't get a chance to go what you just said. She doesn't get to, you know, a chance to tell you, well, she's going to have a 20 minute break every, you know, you know what I'm saying? Right. She gets a five minute break every, on the hour, every hour. Something like where you're incorporating, she has to be right beside you. And it should not be, um, in your mind, it's like, oh, this is going to be a pain in the butt. No, it's really not. If you have a good dog, she's just going to lay there like she's laying in the closet. Right next to you, though. So you're trying to break her from being alone. You're going to try to break her from being alone. You yeah. understand that? I it's had not, none of it that way. Okay. That's she's good. mentally hurt. hurt from, uh, damaged. Yeah. So do you go, if a child is mentally damaged, you say, well, you've got to be alone right now. Because I got, you know, I can't, I don't, you, know, you don't do that. You're going to go, oh my goodness, come with me. No one's leaving you alone anymore. You know right. what I mean? So, until she gets you, I would take this dog everywhere. It would be a pain in my rear end, but I would be like, you have got to come with me. And then, um, it takes, uh, they just did a new study on Yahoo, at least. But I do know, back in the day, it was 30 days to create a habit. And they just said it was like 62. It takes 62 days. That's a long time, though. Um. I think if you did it for 30 days or less, 
you will find that she is going to be like not wanting to go back to the closet like that anymore. She may sleep in the closet, but she won't need to go back to the closet and be all alone once she understands I can be socialized. Because she's not alone anymore. Before, if she was in a breeding situation, she was in a kennel unless she was brought out to breed, okay? And that's very, can you imagine? I can't imagine. So I would be like, we're not doing that to you anymore. You're not going to go in the closet. Her closet is her kennel because that's what she's used to being alone in the dark. And that's the only thing she knows. And it's not okay with that. Now we need to fix it. Okay? And it says, you don't need a trainer to tell you that. I'm going to tell you. Keep her right beside you. Okay? You just going to have to go through some uncomfortableness. I know you have a schedule and all that, but sometimes everything goes out the window when, when love's involved. Well, the first three days I had her at home, I sat with her on the couch. Yet, I, I didn't did leave her. Work. She made, I made her sit on the couch. But you got to go to work. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So can I get up in your grill a little bit here? Okay. Let me see. Can I get up here? Good girl, honey. Good girl. I know. I know. What's this? Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I'm going to wash your head. Can I wash your head? I'm going to go down. My fingers all over here. Okay. You're good. Is your watch, take your watch off. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let's go down on the ears. Mom's right there. She didn't leave. She didn't go nowhere. Come get your eyeballs a little bit. Can I get your eyeballs a little bit? Come on, get some eyeballs. There you go. There you go. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Come yeah, hi. Hi. Hey. Hey. Let me see. Let me see. I'm not done with you. Let me see here. Don't get mad. I know. I gotta get your forehead though. There we go. Yeah. There we go. See? It's a mask. It'll come out. Yeah, it will. Yeah, it will. Don't get mad. See? All right. I think she knows very well what we're doing. Oh, she's smart. I think she does too. You're good. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're the kippy dog. Okay, you don't like towels? It's okay. No, she does. Okay. You're okay. You're okay. Bailey. You're okay. You got your look at your face looped up here. Come turn around. Come turn around this way. Come turn around. Come turn around this way. Okay. You're okay. Hey, 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 hey. You're okay. It's okay. You're okay. I know. I know. What's that? You want to smell it first? It's okay. Oh, that's so sweet of you. That's so sweet of you. Yeah. You wipe your face here? I know, I'm moving too fast for you. Okay. I'm not moving too fast for you. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, look at your pretty face. Yeah. And come down here on your feeties, okay? And come down your feeties. Hi, hi. You'll be okay. Yeah, you'll be okay. Huh? You gonna stand up for me here? I'm gonna get your bubble again. A lot, but I don't trust you yet. Just like you don't trust me yet. Take time. Mm -hmm. Take time. Maybe next time. Maybe next time we try no muzzle. Mm -hmm. She's got a long memory. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this is a good memory. I think this will be a good memory. She don't like a couple of sounds, but I think all in all, I think her body language is just good, right? Good. Good stuff. Let me see this way. You see this way? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Really? Really? Let me see this foot. Can I see this foot? You want to wipe your face? Okay. Now I'm just taking. We're just having fun now. I don't know what you're doing here, but we can't party right now. Okay. <laughs> can't party all day, man. Okay. Okay. So take this off. We'll go to the table and take it off. Okay. Well, Come on. let's be sure we're. <laughs> no. 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 Okay. Here we go. Come here. Got it, mom? Good. Yes, I got stuff going on everywhere here. Oh, wow. Not bad. Not bad at all. Very good. Mom's going to be an assistant now. She's got everything down. We'll take the muzzle off when we're done. Yeah, sounds good. 
We don't trust you. Not just yet. You're freaking everybody out. Yeah. Yeah. We love you. Yeah. So this everything's good here. Let's just check out some little stuff. <laughs> and I gotta fix your face. I mean, we, we all know that. I think she's good. She's in a good place. Uh, I think she is too. I don't. I, I think the, the noise of this is very frightening for her. But I think she's getting used to it. Can I see this? Let me get in here. What's David doing? Daddy's here. Daddy's here. Daddy's here. Daddy's here. <laughs> Never get pretty. Never get Ooh, pretty. Daddy's for Daddy. Here. But no biting, Daddy. Okay. I don't want to hear you about that again. No biting. No snipping and all that. Whatever happened. No more. Oh, I got gotcha. you. You're a good girl. Yes, that's a good girl. Mm -hmm. That's nice. So I'm purposely kind of making some noise on her behalf. So I'm going to trade you sides here. Okay. She's good. She's good. She's good. You're not going to go nowhere. You're good. Yeah. Here, Mama is. Here, Mama is. It's okay. Yeah. Here we go. Let me see this side here. Can you see Daddy out there? She probably can smell him. She's got a muzzle on. Oh. Which is a good thing. Yeah, she she's tried to, she tried she to snap. She a couple times and scared mom. You hear daddy? And scared everybody. Yeah, smell that. We're going to clean your ears. Okay, we're going to clean your ears. You don't like new smells either. Okay, come here. Okay. okay. It's okay, smell. Oh, she's just like, I don't like that. Well, it smells like it? a veterinarian. Uh, an ear cleaner. Oh, um, yeah. She it's okay. Let me see here. Okay, here we go. Sit down. Sit down. Bailey. Sit down. Like I know dad's there, but that's not the focus right now. We're not done yet. Okay. No, don't get mad at me. Look forward. Look at David. I got her other ear. No, no. No, no. Everything's fine. Nothing's You're good. happening. No, no. Good. I'm going to you're not affected or anything. So look forward. Good Let girl. Me see. I gotcha. Let me see here. I gotcha. I know this is not. Oh, oh, oh no. no, no, no. Look that way. No, no. Let me get in there. Let me get in there. Do you think she's got some infection? Or not? Uh, lightly. So hold on. Just let me get through here. No, no. No, no. I understand, but no, no. See how un unpredictable you are. It's very scary. You're very scared. It's just Q-tips. Her eyeballs. You see her eyeballs. She's like, what's that? Look forward. Well, I'm holding her ear. Well, she still wants to see, though. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Let me see what that is. Okay, let me see what's going on. We can get some color in here. Okay. It's not that bad if it is bothering you. Yeah, very lightly, but I'll show you later. Uh -huh. It's very light. Okay. It may still be there and it may still be sensitive or she just doesn't like it. So there's a few things happening. Okay, so we're good. Um, okay. I'm going to leave her face kind of. I'm not going to take all that off. Okay. perfect you guys so just kind of get what you can it's not a big deal don't move mom Very good. 
I'm going to do a little bit of this here. Okay, this is going to get loose here. Um, I'm going to let you have this. This is what I want you to use at home when you're taking, not the harness. Well, let's put her back on the harness this. to go back to the truck. Okay. But that, at home, use this. The harness is comfortable. It's not leadership. So this is as simple as this, as a, a leash. And you can take, like, tell her what to do with it. Okay. So this is going on. Because with harnesses, no offense, but you have an animal that's not very nice, the last thing you want your groomer doing is handling and putting it all on. It's just not worth it. Like there's too much. You know what I mean? Right. That's my opinion. Oh, that's going to be way loose. <laughs> it's fine. You're going to fix it at home. You're going to use this green leash in lieu of, okay? Because it's going to at least get her, keep her. You're going to need that. That's what I would take her to your desk and sit her there. Just have her on that little, little simple oh, leash, okay? It's okay. It's okay. We'll fix it in a second. No, no. That stays on. Oh. That stays on. Okay. There you go. There you go. So then do Honey, this. Honey, I need... Can it's you fine. It's fine. Hold on. No panic. No, there you go. Can you, no, you, want want, you want him to put Do you want to help bring her down? Yeah, I was going to get him to come. Okay, Dad, go ahead and if you want to come and help bring her down. Um, Mom wants you to help bring her down. That's Looks fine. Like I got her. Hey, you can you just bit. use this here. That's her lead there. Okay. And they, this is kind of loose, so. Okay. Okay, great. And she can go outside and me and Mom are going to chit chat. Okay. All right, great. Come on, sweetie. All right, Mom, we'll go up to the front here. Oh, uh, you look so all right, we'll be right back. Okay, now you're on. So I need to just tell mom. Mom has a... How was it today? How'd you do? Uh, I think we did great. Are uh, you glad you found me? Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. Would it much. have been different somewhere else, do you think? Oh, I don't think it would have... I think it would have been a nightmare. Yeah, I think so too. Many more dogs, right? Many more yeah. sounds. No, uh, she couldn't have handled it. Right, one. and she wasn't caged at all. No. Right, because so we did a private today. Correct. Private appointment. And you were referred to us by... Uh, Pooch Planet. Pooch Planet. Right. So, and she's a mobile groomer, and yes. she even said, Dee Dee is probably where you need to go. Absolutely. Right? So, you feel good? Yes. So, great. How do you I feel like be... you did today? How, how did I think you, how I did you okay. Yeah. I, I feel well, like I ran three miles. <laughs> you know, that was, it was stressful for me in a right. way because I could see that she was struggling. Right. But I think it was a good, good experience. Overall. Me too. I do, I do too. And she free, freaked you out a little bit. Yeah. She like, right? So, whew, it was awakening. Yes. Uh, I know her husband's wanting to go, but real fast. So, walk her every day. Give her at least a 20 minute walk. Rainy, walk her inside, up and down the stairs. Get her used to that. Use that green leash I gave you and okay. use that everywhere. Um, I showed her the martingale, martingale collars because she said her dog got out of that collar. It will actually cinch down on the neck when a dog jerks to leave. It, is, it doesn't matter, it's loose, but you have the leash on and she's gonna book it. It's gonna tighten her right back down to where, where she's at because I'm on a busy street here. So right. this is kind of, there's a couple reasons I have this. Um, so I recommend getting one of these later, okay? We talked about ears, so I recommended some ear flushing fluid, an ear cleaning kit. Um, and she was gonna hire a trainer, and I'm just saying, you don't need a trainer. I need you to keep her next to you for a good two weeks every day. It's gonna be a pain in the butt. She goes, um, I would get her crate trained, but that's another situation. That's, we'll do that later. If you wanna keep her into a room, I wouldn't do a dark closet. I would do another, another room, another lit room, you know, even if it was another bathroom. Okay. Um, that or maybe give her, everyone else has to get locked up and she doesn't. She gets the house. I don't know, but you have to tweak that. But that way she's not in that dark place like a breeding facility was doing to her before. We need to get to her out of that or she's not going to get out of there. Okay. Mentally, she's not going to get past it. Okay. Okay. So there's some things I recommend. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Woo! What a groom, you guys. Okay. So thanks for hanging out and watching. That was kind of intense. Um, she snapped at mom twice and I was like, okay, we're getting the muzzle out, right? Uh... We went with the tin because of, I was trying to do that guard and there was no way, there was just no way. If you cannot get a comb through the hair, you're not getting a guard through the hair. So unfortunately we had to do a shave down and hopefully they get it. And um, so much is going on, so much more to educate, but she had to leave. She needs to use a comb. Um, man, I, I really don't know what to say, but 
You never know what, what happened to the pet. You never know what's going on. You never know why they're doing what they're doing. You just got to fix it. So you can't go out there. If you've rescued a dog that's gone through a lot of stuff, you cannot feel sorry for the dog. You just need to get to healing and repair. So skip the sorry stuff and let's just move straight into let's fix it. So mom uh, has actually let the dog do what it wants to do and it wants to go into a closet her closet in her bed in her bedroom in a dark closet and stay there almost all day so that has got if you have a dog like that you need to stop it like that is just like saying i'm depressed and i don't want to i don't want to do anything right and you you don't want someone doing that do you someone that you love you know you don't want them to feel like that so go get the i told her she works she said she works from home so i'm like well then this dog should be right next to you and she said well i don't want her to pee and i'm like go take her outside when you take a break okay so homework is i gave her a like a, a just a simple lead she doesn't need a harness she doesn't need all this stuff just a simple lead, walk your dog together every day, brush your dog every day, and have your dog not in a dark closet, but next to you, if you work from home, have the dog right next to you every day until you guys can work it out where she's a little bit more comfortable. So she's had the, the pet for a while now, so I really hope that we see some changes. And uh, I do plan on sending an email reiterating a few things I think are necessary, and then we'll just see what happens next time. So. I was thinking I was getting a skipper key and uh, she was like, oh, she's a mini Australian Shepherd. And I was like, oh man. So mini Australian Shepherd is what she said. And um, aggressive, whether it's because of fear or whether it's because she's scared. If you're, that dog is aggressive trying to bite her own mom out of fear. So I'm not calling it fear biting. I'm going to call it, this is an aggressive groom. It's scary for everybody involved. It, the mom almost got hurt twice. So if you guys don't like the word aggressive, I can't help you. Aggressive is a dog that is going to bite for no matter what reason. So I'm not going to tell you all the reasons in every video. But if a dog is biting at all, in my book, it's aggressive. and Because it can be fixed. Okay, and it starts at home, not at the groomer. All right, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate you all. Thanks for shopping. Oh my gosh, I had some orders yesterday that were big. I appreciate you all. And um, check out the dog upstand. Did you see how it assisted her to stand up? Um, that was so awesome. And I, I just can't say thank you enough for watching our channel, for supporting us, for being a part of what I do. And thank you for all your emails. I do read all of them. I may not be able to respond right away, but I try to help each and every one of you. And those of you who shop with me, I am all about really helping you get to where you need to go. Uh, it really means a lot when you support the people you learn from. It's like going to a classroom and paying for a teacher. Because I know I paid a lot of teachers a lot of good money to get my degree. So if you're learning from me, that's where you support me. That's, that's just my belief. So... Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll see. Okay, so we uh, we got an update. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> David was like, well, someone said on your YouTube channel, Dee Dee, that Caesar Milan said that dogs are fearful and fearful by... What did you say? He said that dogs aren't aggressive, they're in fear. Dogs aren't aggressive, they are in fear. So... I love Caesar Milan. Matter of fact, I know a little bit about his uh, life story and I've watched his show when I had cable. I don't have cable and I haven't had cable for a long time. Um, do you think I have time for cable, you guys? Honestly, okay. I, I spend my time writing emails, replying to people, talking to people worldwide. Uh, I spend my time doing YouTube videos, slowing my grooms down to educate you guys. I invest my time back into people and I love Caesar Milan, don't get me wrong. However, we all have different views, including you guys. You guys have your own different view. And, Caesar, and this is how I'm gonna think, and haters are gonna hate, and that's fine, because they have nothing better to do. That's my opinion. I don't have time to hate. I might watch a video I don't like. I don't even comment. You know, I don't even say like, I don't like your video. I don't even do that. I just move on to the next video. I don't really need to have that limelight in someone else's world. If I really think something's amazing, I might do a thumbs up, you know? But I'm not really commenting unless it's somebody that I really care about and I have a problem with something, okay? That's the difference between me and a lot of people out on YouTube is that we all want to say something. We all want to fix something. We all want to act like we know everything about everything and we don't. And um, like I might watch, um, you guys know that veterinarian. The, he's amazing, the ranch guy. Sorry, I don't know his name and all that. but And I'm going off this off subject here. But <laughs> Dave is like, dude, you're getting off subject. Okay. Going back to what David just said. Sorry, you guys. Watch the veterinarian guy. He's awesome. I love watching him. I, are there situations I might judge? Maybe, but I try not to. I'm not there. I don't know what's going on. Just like that new police video. They, they, oh, my gosh. They threw that guy down, and 
one uh, one guy driving by took a video. Oh, come on, people. You didn't get the other side of it where he was yelling and cussing and he wouldn't put his arm back. That's what happened with that. Okay, so key is, yes, I have a very, faith. She is scared of everything. We're walking down the road and she's like, oh my gosh. Uh, I put a flashlight and she, it's a newspaper. I mean, she is scared of everything. She, will, she pulled out of so many harnesses, which is why I carry so many harnesses here now. Because I tried every harness with her to, to make sure she wouldn't get away from me. So I finally found a harness that she will not get out of. The key factor is though, she is scared of everything and she has never bit me. She has never whipped back to bite me. She will like, oh, and roll over and freaking freak out and book it. She might, the first time I ever took Faith to the dog park, Faith is my men pin chihuahua looking dog. And if you guys know me, you've seen her. Uh, Faith, I've took her to the dog park the first time. I, it took me two hours walking around the dog park to get her back to come to me. Cause it was our first time at the dog park. She wouldn't listen. She was scared. Oh gosh, it was it was crazy. And I was like, I'll never do that again, right? I had to, I went home that day and trained her to come to my knee. That we spent an hour. It took one hour to train her to come to my knee. And the next time at the dog park, I slapped my knee a few times and she came right to me. It was awesome. One hour of training. So and she is scared of everything. She's what is she scared of, David? Faith is scared of what? Sudden movements, everything. Sudden movements. What's everything? Come on. Detail. She's scared of you if you like open the door yeah, too fast. If I She's move too fast if I move the wrong way. When me and David just started first everywhere. started dating, she he would open the doggy door or the door and she would poop. I mean, it, he he would open it too fast. I'm like, you're being too sudden with her. You can't do that. She's like, ah! You know, she literally was like, <laughs> she'll run by me and I'll tap her button. She'll look at me and go, ah! She like literally scared, but she's never bit me ever now you take a dog like today and it is so scared that anger is like Rah! that's aggression i don't caesar milan that's great uh, his opinion of that and i'm not going to compare myself to him at all i'm my own person and i have my own thoughts and i work with this these types of dogs and so does he but he does training now he started off i believe as a groomer so i'm telling you there is a difference between a dog that's scared and a dog that's scared and has aggression, takes it out with biting. There may be, you guys calling it fear biting. It is out of fear that they are biting, but they hit a different, there's, a, there's like a, a level here. You get scared to this point and then you flip and you get aggressive. You flip and you bite. Every dog that's scared is not gonna bite. And that's the biggest thing I need you to know. And those people who are Hayton, you guys are probably not even gonna watch this this far into the video anyway, but the point is is that if your dog is aggressive and biting, if your dog is biting, in my book, it's gonna be aggressive. You either have an aggressive or non-aggressive dog. My faith is non-aggressive fear, non-aggressive timid. She does not bite. I don't have to give her to someone and say, be careful, she's gonna bite you. I don't have to say that. She's not aggressive. She is scared of everything. I would be like, don't let her run away. She, she's scared of everything. If you open the cage door too fast, she's gonna leave. She's gonna book it. But she will not bite you. And then I have a person, and then I have a dog that might be a, a biter. Faith or Saki will bite you. She will not like something that you're gonna do and she will nip you, okay? So I'm gonna tell you, my dog is aggressive. She may bite you because if you go to do a shot and you don't you know, could muzzle her, she may bite you. There's two different things happening. It may be because of whatever reason, fear, anxiety, whatever, but you have aggressive or non-aggressive in my book. All right, thanks for listening. <laughs> okay, so you guys, I uh, got some text messages from the mom. Uh, she said, just wanted you to know Bailey is chasing the ball with our lab, also playing chase. This is something she's never done. Maybe your hair was bothering her. Thank you for today, and I forgot to tip you. So sorry. I would be back as I do want the collar. I showed her the Martingale collar. Uh, she also said, um, I gave her some tips. And then she said, will do. She is sitting on the couch smiling and giving me kisses. When I got in the truck, she jumped in my lap and kept kissing me. She wasn't upset. So uh, the great news, um, I, uh, David and I kind of interacted and we thought maybe, you know how sometimes you go through something traumatic and let's just say you get a, you go get your, I've done this before, you go through something life changing and you're like, you know what, I'm changing my life and I'm going to transform myself. So you go, let's just say you shave your head, right? I've done that before. Um, cut your hair off, whatever it is that you do, but you transform, you become different. And so maybe, maybe that happened, you know, maybe that happened with her when we took all that hair off, the dog was like, I'm a diff, I'm a new being. So I would really, I told her, keep me in the loop. Um, 
and let me know if, if that whole closet thing changes her wanting to go to the closet changes if it does man that's just such an amazing miracle um, how animals can reroute themselves and then also uh, the mom not leaving the dog's side during the grooming so the dog has always been left or you know caged or just mistreated and she was so like you didn't leave me you didn't give up on me right um, so some folks are out there are probably thinking we, the pet parents should not be involved with the grooming. Well, I think you're wrong. I think every situation dictates where you should go with it. And if you are in that situation, only you can really see what your choices should be and what you should or shouldn't do. If you're looking in, there's always that, oh, you should have done that, or you should have done that, you should have done that. I think that if you are living this situation, only you know what others don't in your situation in every situation that I use the pet parent I think that they do need to be involved for many many reasons and this one is the mom knew she had to be involved that dog is scared of everything and is a danger to folks if she is fear biting if she is biting because she's so scared and she is aggressive enough to bite okay but that's some really good news and I uh, just makes me feel so happy so Thanks a lot, folks, for finding me. Uh, another groomer here referred her to me that she doesn't do aggressive dogs, but another groomer referred to me. So I appreciate you, Pooch Planet, out of Texas. So love you guys. Thanks for believing in what I do and supporting me. Even groomers can support groomers. I mean, we should be there for each other. We shouldn't be talking crap about each other. We should, you should, you should be there for people in your industry. I don't know why groomers are one of the only, only industries that I can say I'm a part of that we all don't have each other's back. You know, I can go into the military and we all have each other's back. I can go ride motorcycles and another motorcycle will have my back. You know, I, I can do all kinds of things that I have in my life and have done in my life. And the only thing I don't understand is why groomers cannot be there for other groomers. I don't get it. Be there for your other groomers, man. I am there for you guys. You know who you are. So thanks a lot for watching. Bye.